Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Cheryl. If you're new, welcome to the C-Squad. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for joining me again. Today we are back with another video. I'm super excited for today's video because I'm going to be giving you an updated what's on my iPhone 13 Pro with the new iOS 16, which just came out a few days ago. Some of you may have already watched my video where I customize my iPhone with you guys, which I will have linked down below. A lot of things on my phone have stayed the same since then but I've also added a few things so I'm excited to take you guys through all of that. Before we get into it please like this video and subscribe it really helps me out in the YouTube algorithm and if you'd like to go the extra mile to support me and my channel then please go ahead and send me a super thanks down below for as little as two pounds or 30 rand. It really helps me create better and higher quality content for you guys. For example I recently got a new microphone. I've been on YouTube for almost three years and this is my first microphone so I'm hoping the audio sounds better. It would be really funny if you guys tell me that you can't tell a difference. Also, iOS 16 for the iPad hasn't come out, but when it does, do you guys want me to do a what's on my iPad? Because I'm actually even more obsessed with how I customized this. I'm gonna give you guys a little sneak peek. So that's my lock screen and that's my home screen. If you guys want to see a what's on my iPad, then get this video to 50 likes and I will make it happen. So obviously one of the main things we need to discuss on my phone are my cases. I have two cases from Casetify. I live and die by Casetify cases. They are drop tested. They are so cute and aesthetic and I'm just obsessed. I have this purple blue gradient abstract and I recently got this beige palm palm trees case. This is from their compostable line, so it is good for the environment. I always have my case to fi cases linked down below for my iPad, my iPhone, and my MacBook. So I think we should get started with the star of the show. Obviously, it is the lock screen customization, which is like super exciting. The lock screen finally gets some love. There are so many things you can do with the lock screen. You can do some really cool stuff with the weather and astronomy. I've seen people do really fun things with the emojis. You can have gradients. You can do all of this stuff. I decided to keep my same wallpaper that I spent centuries doing. If you guys watched the last video, you guys will know that I created this block screen using Canva Pro. I actually also created my custom icons using Canva Pro as well. I will have all of that stuff linked down below. So my home screen, my lock screen, my app icons, as well as a 30 day free trial of Canva Pro because you guys know I live by it. So one of my favorite things about this update is the fact that you can now customize the color of your date and time. You can definitely pick some of their default colors which are super cute but I actually use the specific brown color that I also used on my app icons. So this is the hex code if you guys would like to use that as well. You can now also change the font of the time. I really like these two which are kind of like a Times New Roman-esque font. I prefer this one on the left. I think it's a little bit sleeker. I also think this is pretty cool. It definitely doesn't match my vibe, but I think it is a vibe. So I like the different options that you have. My one gripe is that you cannot change the font of the date, which I don't really get why. Hopefully they update that soon. You can also change your date to include other things. So if you want to include your calendar or you want to include the weather, maybe your clock and all of that stuff, you can definitely do that. I decided to just keep it simple. Another cool feature is that you can add widgets to your lock screen. Like this is so epic. I have two kind of medium sized widgets. One is the weather and the other is the alarm. There are a whole bunch of different options. You can also filter your lock screen. So you can have like the black and white filter or duotone or color wash, which could be a vibe. It's not my vibe, but it could be your vibe. And if we step into my home screen, so my wallpaper, is basically what my lock screen is except just palm trees. For the most part, my home screen has stayed the same except I have discovered a new app that you can use to create widgets. In my last video, I showed you guys how to use Widgetsmith. I recently discovered an app called Color Widgets. This app is so cool, you guys. What I love about this is you can create essentially the same widgets that you would on Widgetsmith except you can also have them have a transparent 
different background. As you can see here on the bottom right, this is a widget from Widgetsmith, and you always have to have a background color. But with color widgets, they take your home screen and basically use that as the background, if you get what I mean. So I have here the date and the time. I really love the fact that it has the battery icon so I can see how much battery I have left. And then as far as the apps on my first page, I have my email, which I check literally 10 to 15 times a day. I've got my photos, camera, calendar, calculator, my clock. I've seen some people have dozens of alarms that just have like different times, different names. Honestly, that can never be me. My brother has that and that stresses me out a little bit. I have four alarms. I have two types of alarms. So my first one is my morning alarm, which is like when I typically wake up. I try to aim for nine o'clock, but it's usually like 10 or 11. And then I have my afternoon alarms, which is when I take like an afternoon nap. So I have my main alarm, which is like wake up at nine o'clock. And then I have my backup alarm. And this one is just so that in case my first alarm doesn't go off or I don't hear it for whatever reason, I have the backup alarm. I have my notes and then I have Notion. You guys know I love Notion. I will have my Notion tour linked down below. I walk you guys through all of this stuff. It's one of my favorite apps for productivity. Then I've got maps. I've got reminders. I've seen a lot of people use their reminders. I feel like I'm missing out, but I actually don't use this at all. Then I have my app store and my settings. This widget from Widgetsmith, which is tied to my calendar. So I see what events are coming up either today or tomorrow. At the bottom, I have my messages, phone, Safari, and music. I really prefer Apple Music to Spotify. Then on page two, I've got Instagram. Follow me at Cheryl underscore Moya. I won't lie to you. I'm not the most consistent on Instagram. I need to get better. But when I do decide to post on my Instagram stories, it's usually behind the scenes stuff that you won't see on YouTube for weeks. For example, when I went to London with Dudu, Instagram saw it first. My next video that's going up, I went away on a trip. People from Instagram already know where I went, so I would definitely follow me. I've got Twitter. I do not tweet. I literally just sit and scroll through the trending page. Someone take my Twitter away from me. Thank you very much. I've got Google Chat. Of course, I've got YouTube because I spend an ungodly amount of time watching YouTube videos. I've got Pinterest. I love Pinterest. This is where I get my nail inspo, where I get cute quotes. I've got Canva. We've already discussed my love of Canva. I've got Netflix and then right next to Netflix I've got my VPN. It is 2022. If you're still not using a VPN, I do not know what to tell you. That is honestly a must-have. Then I've got Amazon. I have an Amazon addiction. And then I've got my banking app. I've got two more widgets. The one in the middle is really cool. I just discovered this app called I Am and basically what it is is it's daily affirmations. You can and create a custom widget. And so I changed the background to be this picture of like a beach and waves. I think I got that off of Pinterest. You can change the font, the font color, the size, and you can have daily affirmations. So they change one to two times a day. I know some people who like them to change every single hour. That could not be me. I need to register a little bit before we move on to the next one. Today's one is, I'm grateful for all the good things in my life and have no regrets about the past or what might happen in the the future. I don't know how true that is, but I guess that's why it's an affirmation. I'm supposed to say it to believe it. And then I have another widget from Color Widgets. I know it may seem like overkill. I've got a lot of stuff to do with dates as my widgets, but there's something so convenient about having the calendar without necessarily having to go into my calendar. And then I do have a few extra widgets on the side. I have the weather and my calendar. I probably don't need those anymore, so I might end up removing them. I've got my emails. I've got this battery charging widget, which is really useful when I'm using my AirPods. I can see how much battery I have on each ear, as well as how much battery I actually have in the like charging case. So that's really cool. I also have my screen time. As you can see, I've already spent an hour and a half on YouTube. And that's just on my phone. That's not even including how much time I've spent watching it on my TV. Then I wanted to just show you guys a few of my other favorite apps. 
in entertainment, I have a whole bunch of streaming services. Disney Plus, Netflix, Prime Video, Paramount Plus. I've got Apple TV. I haven't actually watched anything on Apple TV yet. If you guys have any recommendations for me, please comment down below and let me know. I would love to know. I also have Epidemic Sound here. You guys know I love Epidemic Sound. That is like all I use for my YouTube video music and I love vibing out to it when I'm just chilling. Also, I spend way too much time playing games on my phone. So I have a couple of games. I am that person where if I see an ad for a game, I am actually going to download it and play it. Here are some of my faves. My current game right now is this Fall Sort one. Don't ask me why, but I get lots of joy and entertainment out of this game. I also have a bunch of apps for photos and videos. That's basically what my whole life entails. It all revolves around social media, so I need all of these apps. For my thumbnails, the ones that I use are Fonto, PixArt, and there's another one that I use. Oh, Visco. I also love background eraser. You can basically go in and cut out your background manually. YouTube Studio, which I can use to track my YouTube video analytics and also respond to comments when I'm not on my laptop. I also love Unsplash. Basically, it has free images that you can use. I actually use this as one of the photos on my Notion setup. It's really cute. I love it. So that's pretty much it for what's on my iPhone. If you guys would like more tech or Apple related videos, I do have my tech playlist linked down below so you guys can check out me customizing my MacBook as well. That's a really fun one. Once again, if you guys want a what's on my iPad, get this video to 50 likes. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to join the C-Squad and hit that notification bell to be notified when I upload new videos. I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!